Hi friends, I'm Katie Collier and today on From Scratch with Katie we have a really good friend of mine, David Choi. He's the owner and founder of Soul Taco and Soul Q right here in St. Louis. Today he's going to make the Soul Taco pizza and he's bringing the food truck so let's go check him out. Um, we've got some brugogi today, which yeah. is Korean barbecue steak. Okay. Yeah. Can I take uh, 20 of those? Yeah, and absolutely. Why don't and you... I forgot my wallet. <laughs> she forgot her wallet, guys. Can I check it out? I've never been on the truck before. Yeah, why don't you All come right. on in? Why come on over? Yeah. It can fit like what? 15 people in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little, little Asians. <laughs> So the bulgogi beef, what is what is bulgogi beef for people that don't know? So bulgogi is Korean barbecue I'm saying steak. saying it wrong, okay. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you got a little work to do on your Korean, but bulgogi is Korean barbecue steak. So it's gonna have uh, some sweet notes, a little yeah. savory as well. So I think that's what really uh, gets people going with and that. And then so. the kimchi is like that tart, awesome pickled flavor. Right, right. Spicy. Yeah, so it's pickled Napa cabbage, and yeah. it also has a little bit of heat. Yeah. Um, again, it's a little subtle with both, but you get a little taste of both sides and of that. it's good for you. Right. It's really good for you. And right. then the soul sauce. You can't tell us what's in that, but that soul is sauce, just... Yeah, there, there might not be any more Katie <laughs> stuff, but... So let's, um, let's grab it. This is really cool. And let's go in and make a soul taco pizza. This is fusion. So we're fusing Korean and Italian, and you do that with Mexican food. Right, right. right yeah. So it does work, and these flavors are really good. So we've got the sweet, acidic, and the spicy, and then we're topping it with some fresh green onion and some soul sauce. Yeah. Sesame seed, too. Will you make the, the beef for us right now, and then we're going to show the viewers how we put this all together. So here you go. Let's head on over to the range. So throw that. Oh yeah, that's the sound of deliciousness. What is the marinade for this beef? So the marinade, it'll have some sort of sweet sweetness. It's also soy sauce based. Yeah. So it'll soak overnight, at least 24 hours. So all Put that soaks all in, in the there. meat. Yeah. yeah. Typically, we use a tougher cut of meat. Okay. So in order to tenderize that, it'll need to sit overnight at least. Yeah. And, oh, he's got a call. Hold on, Katie, I'm very important. So. <laughs> he's got a call in that beef order. Where'd you learn how to make this? Uh, from the from the best teachers, my grandma and mom. So. <laughs> nice. Yes. And so they would make this, you grew up eating this. Right, so yeah. I think they taught me because they wanted me to help out in the kitchen <laughs> a little bit. So. Do you ever do this with like uh, chicken or tofu or anything? Yeah, so we definitely uh, marinate all our proteins, even tofu. Yeah. Um, tofu is a little different process, but we also um, have a dish, spicy pork, which is our pork belly. You could use that marinade with a lot, a lot of different proteins, actually. What are some of the main flavors in Korean food? Right, some ginger, garlic, onions. Yeah. So. Probably similar to uh, Italian, right? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a nice caramelization. Very tender, beautiful. We're gonna take this to the pizza station and make a soul taco pizza. All right, let me cut up this green onion real quick. Cheers. We just, yeah, cheers. All right, so let's, let's do this. I'm gonna hand stretch some dough for my friend here. We've got some garlic roasted in sesame oil, and that's gonna be the base. And this pizza has so much flavor, and if you haven't tried it, you gotta try it. So then I'm gonna do a little fontina cheese here, shredded fontina. We've got the beef. I'm not even gonna try to say it anymore. I'm just calling it beef. And you said it right. <laughs> I said bulgogi? Yeah, there you go. Okay. 
sort we're, of. We're not sort, sort of. of. <laughs> okay, and then we've got the kimchi. Tell us some more like about what goes into pickling this cabbage. With this kimchi, it's Napa cabbage. Uh, has some red pepper flakes, um, some vinegar, obviously. Yeah. In order to make it this this sour, we ferment it for two weeks. And you get a little, is there a little carrot in here? Radish. Radish, uh -huh. radish, yeah. okay. A little bit of parm. So let's throw this in the oven. Here we go. Bro. <laughs> well, Londo, we're making your favorite pizza. Your yeah. favorite. Yeah. Oh yeah, pizza, pizza. <laughs> Rolando is my family. Yeah. Yeah. And he's from Cuba and he makes the best Cuban food for us. Yeah, Cuban food. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then we get a little cheese. Yeah. Yeah, pizza, pizza. Say something in yeah. Spanish yeah. to all the Spanish speaking viewers yeah. out there. Pizza, pizza. No, <laughs> don't. Be serious. In yeah. The, in español. Yeah, tell them about yeah, buena yourself. Pizza. Buena pizza in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> in English, pizza, pizza. <laughs> Rolando, Rolando. Okay, yeah. kimchi, and then a little parm. Here, Rolando, put that in the oven for me, yeah. please. Right All right, here. so we got the red, green onion or scallion. The famous soul sauce. There we go and then some sesame seed for a little crunch. Okay, take it away. Yeah, pizza, pizza, Hong Kong. No, no, no. No, no. Korean. Yeah, Korea, Korea. <laughs> Korea. Koreano, pizza, pizza. Bueno, you understand? Yeah. You understand? <laughs> So good. <laughs> the crust is awesome. I, love, I think that's better than it. last time. It's yeah. so good. I've become friends with you, and I know that your mom and your grandma were a huge influence on you growing Absolutely. up and taught you how to cook. At first, believe it or not, like it, it's something like required. Yeah. Um, so when I was a kid, I really didn't like Korean food. Like, really? I was the type of kid who was like, it's dinner time, I wanted Frosted Flakes or, <laughs> you know, dog. some serious, <laughs> or cereal. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> I think more of anything, it was when I was in college, I was like, I really miss you Korean miss food. It. Yeah. miss mama's cooking. Right, right. Yeah. So that's where I, you know, anytime I had break, I would come back and I was like, I need to learn this so I can cook it when I'm away, you yeah. know, so. What was your grandma making you? It was oh, really man. cool. Uh, she, her stews, stews and soups are the best. the best. They're out of this world. Yeah, so. we got to get your grandma a food truck. Oh, I know. <laughs> She'd outdo my truck for sure. <laughs> Tell us, for people that don't know, what is Soul Taco and Soul Q? Okay, uh, so Soul Taco, it's just Korean barbecue, tacos, quesadillas, burritos. Nice. So. It's a fusion with Mexican, your typical Mexican food. And mm. Really, that's what I uh, wanted to accomplish, giving the unfamiliar flavors of Korean food right. into the familiarity of tacos and yeah. Mexican food. So. And you've had like a cult following. You've had a ton of support. Right. Yeah. I mean, we we've been totally fortunate off the bat. Like we had we had long lines from the first day we opened. Uh -huh. till, you know, awesome. right now if you go into the store, it's the same place. So it's really cool to see that. So Taco is probably the best taco truck that I've had. I love the taco. So Taco, man, I believe, I have to say hands down, it's one of the best tacos I've had. So we just opened uh, Champaign, Illinois. Mm -hmm. um, and last year around this time, we opened in Mizzou and Columbia, Missouri. Yeah. And uh, that's with our friends from Strange Donuts. Yep. I know you guys are friends with them as They're well. They're awesome. Soul Taco, you go along that wall, pick up a few, right at the end of the Yellow Brick Road. We expanded into a, from a small little side street in the Del Mar Loop to a, on the Del Mar Loop, and it's like four times the size of our old store. So you're just growing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a beautiful style and aesthetic, lots of like street art and hip hop culture. Right, so we're really, we want to bring in some local street artists and just gives it 
that aesthetic it's unique. feel that goes with the, the uniqueness of that, with, along with, I believe, our uniqueness of our food. What are your crazy goals? Where do you want to take this thing? Oh, man. Um, I think just the feedback we've gotten from Soul Taco, um, just really want to branch out with that idea and um, really make a big presence in the Midwest. So uh, whether that's in Champaign, all these college towns around St. Louis, and yeah. you know, looking in Chicago, awesome. Nashville, some sort of areas like that where uh, we can really have our own identity and have our hand in the Midwest cities. So. And your flavors and your concepts, so unique. Right. So I think it would work anywhere. It just really gives us the confidence to just go out to these cities and do it. So. He's going to be huge, people. <laughs> okay, so get his autograph now. <laughs> I'll sign it in Soul Sauce. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> On my napkin. Yeah, right. Thank you for coming by. That was really fun. So awesome. I had a blast. And we're going to do the Soul Taco Pizza Takeover again. Yes, I'm super excited about that. And I want to do a shout out to Soul Taco. So follow Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. They're the best. And find out where the food truck is next and where the next Soul Taco will be popping up. So thank you. Hey, thank you. Yeah.